Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Days presented by Hercules Tires. I'm Kendra Sheehan. Stephen F. Austin's women's basketball program joins us now. Head coach Mark Kellogg in his seventh season and Zaya Nugent, junior guard and Ayana Johnson, senior forward, join us. Thank you all for being here. First coach, I want to start with you. You were undefeated in the Southland, forced overtime in the NCAA tournament. What expectation is it coming into this season, joining this new conference? Well, obviously, uh, we would like to do that again. That was a pretty fun experience and maybe even a little bit more, I think, is the challenge now for this group. Uh, there'll be some uh, new expectations, new, new travel um, going into the WAC that we're not sure what that looks like yet. Um, but that's okay. I think that's welcomed by us. We've been in the Southland now for a while with, uh, you know, I, I guess a similar routine year to year. Um, so I know there's some excitement going into this new league. But I think as far as ex expectations, those don't really change um, from year to year for us. Zaya, do you feel any pressure coming off of what you were able to do last season coming into this new conference that you have a target on your back from other teams looking at how successful you were last year? Um, pressure? No, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, we had a target on our back in, in the South plan, so I'm sure we'll have it in a whack. But I think if we just, you know, keep doing what we're doing, I think we'll be fine. Staying with you, the offense showed they can put up numbers last season. Where do you see this year's offense expanding on what you were able to do last year? Um, I think we'll be even better. Um, we got talent, and I mean, we just got to play. Ayana, you have tremendous court vision. What has been your biggest strength that you feel that your game has? Um, I would probably say the trust that my teammates and I have with each other and our ability to work together on the court. I mean, the only reason I have court vision is, you know, because they execute. So I'm just benefiting off of their hard work and um, our chemistry together. Coach, last year, your team led in multiple categories, scoring defense, steals, turnovers forced. How much do you emphasize the importance of staying disciplined? Yeah, well, I think on both ends, I mean, I, we want to, you know, we want strength in numbers, so to speak, as well. So we want balance and depth within our program. Uh, we haven't really wanted to just be an offensive team or just be a defensive team. Uh, a lot of teams have an identity on one end of the floor or the other, and we want to be able to uh, to be great on both ends. And I thought last year we put that together um, in some of the statistics. Yes, would show that from the turnovers forced, uh, scoring defense, but I think you could flip around and you know, we were top five in the country and field goal percentage and points scored and those types of things. So I, I think to be a lead, I think you want to be able to play multiple ways. You need to win high scoring games. You may need to grind out a game. And, and these kids bought into that philosophy. And, and for the most part, we're able to do that. Whichever style of play we ended up playing against or whatever that game presented, uh, we were able to take advantage. Well, you were certainly winning games by quite a large margin last season. What type of an explosive, fast-paced offense can we expect in your first year in the WAC? Well, I think it would be more of the same, as, as they alluded to. We feel like we have talent. We have returners. We have people that have been players that have been in this system. We have a great culture environment. It's a player-led locker room. So we have a lot of those things in place, and that typically carries over to the court, and there's trust with each other. Um, yes, the way we play should allow us to score some points. If we can turn people over, you know, we can let that lead to some offense. Um, but yeah, it just all came together a year ago. And so I, I think that opened our kids' eyes to what this can look like. Um, I think we have a versatile group again. I think we can score it again in multiple ways. So we can score in the paint. We can score from the perimeter um, at the mid-range as well. Um, and I don't think we have to turn people over to score points either. So I just think it's a well-balanced group. I, I hope it looks a little bit like what it did um, a year ago, um, and it may not, and, but we're going to go in with that expectation for sure. Zaya, coach, I mentioned that it's a player-led locker room. How have you watched this team evolve since your time here into the culture that you guys have this year? Um, I would say, I mean, just coming in as a freshman, it, it has always been like that. Um, we're very close. Uh, these are like my sisters and Honestly, that's, that's as good as it's going to get. As an upperclassman now, do you feel like your role has expanded and you've taken more of that leadership role on? Yes. Um, I mean, being the only junior, um, and then next year I'll probably be the only senior. So I think, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to lead in some, some type of way. 
obviously joining a, a new conference presents its own challenges, but what excites you most about taking on this new challenge, this new league? Um, I would just say competition. Like, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm very competitive. So uh, we don't know what the other teams look like. So I think not knowing um, will be the, really the challenge, I guess. Ayana, three other of your conference rivals have been added to this league as well. Is there any particular one of those that you specifically have circled on your calendar that you're most excited to go up against again? Um, it doesn't necessarily matter about uh, the name on the jersey. It's just who, who's ever on the court is who I'm competing against. And uh, I have the same mentality coming into every game. What has been your mentality this season and has it changed since you first began with the program? Um, I would say my mentality has changed just with uh, the change in my role in each, in each season. Um, but I would just say that my goal this year is uh, to glorify God, of course, and just to put my teammates in a position to win uh, every single day. As a senior, how have you developed as a player and as a person through being on this basketball team and being surrounded by the women that you have in the locker room? Um, they've definitely humbled me. Uh, they've had me just go through trials and uh, help me prepare for the season. Um, I would also give credit to my coaches and they, you know, I'm not one to like being called out, but uh, they always do it and it always helps me. <laughs> so um, they're, they're always, you know, wanting me to work hard and uh, do better and, understand that I, you know, I'm the best at what I do. And I appreciate that a lot. After what you did last season, do you feel something special, something brewing in this locker room this year as you come into this new league? Oh yeah. I mean, that was simply just, you know, another layer of the foundation that we have created here at SFA. So um, I'm definitely excited for what we have this season. I know it's just going to build off of what we've already created. Ayana, Zaya, Coach Kellogg, thank you so much for speaking with me. We wish you the best of luck this season. I'm going to hand it off to Michael and still the rest of the media. Ask you all some questions. Thanks again. It was great meeting you all. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.